In this video I'll be explaining how to do a hybrid resection with a GPS with no correction using Magnet Field 5.0. Some of the setup requirements for this are a GPS receiver with no correction and in this case we are using the internal GPS and an FC5000 data recorder, a robotic total station, a data recorder with Magnet Field with the hybrid license and the solution includes that a minimum of two known control points, ideally three or more. No projection or localization is required as ground coordinates are being used and a range pole with ATP1 prism. From the main screen of Magnet Field, we go into Configure and then Survey. Ensure that we have the correct optical configuration selected. And then for the FC5000, we'll just go into Edit. This is an autonomous SBAS type, and we'll go next. The rover model is generic NMEA, and the receiver model is also generic NMEA. The magnet field software automatically knows the COM port to get the data from the internal GPS on, and all the other settings we don't need to worry about. So we can hit the green tick and go back in the configure menu and go into coordinate system. We need to ensure that the projection is set to none and the datum is WGS84. We're using ground coordinates, and that's why we have a projection set to none. And the datum is WGS84, because that is what the internal FC5000 GPS data is outputting. And then we can hit the green tick on that, and on the main screen of magnet field, we'll go into edit, and then points. And we can see here are known control points that we're gonna use for the resection. We can simply back out to the main screen of magnet field, and now we'll go into connect. In the connect screen, you will see that there is no automatic localization button anymore. This has been removed from version four. Version five, it is automatically being calculated in the background in the software. If a localization or projection haven't been used, ensure that hybrid positioning is ticked doesn't matter if you have the GPS or optical selected first, the software will connect to both automatically. You will know that both are connected in the top right hand corner, you will see a total station and GPS symbol together to show that you have connected to both successfully. There will be no three green bars because we are not receiving any correctional data to the GPS. Also at the top right you will see the total station button and we can press this and that will quickly change into the GPS mode and we can go into setup and then status, verify that we are seeing satellites, close out back to the main screen of magnet field, and hit the total station button again to go into total station mode. This is a quick visual representation of how resection can be completed in the field using a range pole with prism and the internal FC5000. Now from the main screen of magnet field, ensuring we're in the total station mode, we can go into setup and then read section. Going up into the magnet symbol and then setup, we can see if we've got a tick for use in 3DMC. If you want to know more about this, you can watch the Magnet 5 how to LPS setup video. We can also go down to options. We can look at the residual info that would be displayed the tolerances that will be used, the scale factor that will be used or estimated, and also the calculation method. We can then enter in a point name for the occupation, a code if desired, and we can leave the height at zero as this is an arbitrary setup. Once all the information has been entered, just simply hit the next button. Now on the resection screen, we can pick our point from the map or the list, and we can use it for the horizontal or vertical and we can enter in a correct prism pole height and if you want to change the prism type to be used we can go up into the cog symbols in the top right we can see if we're using phase one readings target type and what prism constant we are going to be using if you need to edit the prism you can hit the three dot button next to the prisms target to be used and you can add a new one from the drop down as you'll notice back on the resection screen that the hybrid positioning button is greyed out. This is because we haven't established the position of the total station yet and once we have done this, this will be visible in the topo and stakeout views. 
we can turn and lock on to the first resection point using the lock icon and once we are locked on to the prism and we're seeing a distance value we can hit the measure button this will then automatically ask for a GPS position for this same resection point you don't need to change any details in here you can just simply hit the measure icon ensuring that you haven't moved from the first location and once the measurement has been taken you will now be on the resection screen again and ask for the second resection point once you've picked the second point from the map or the list and entered in the code and pole height as required you can simply make sure you are locked on to the second point and once you're seeing a distance again hit the measure button and again you'll jump straight into the GPS mode for the same point ensuring you haven't moved from the second point you hit the measure button on the GPS this warning that has popped up is only for the 3DMC tick box so we can just hit close to ignore this for now you will now be on the resection results screen and you can see the estimated 3D positional areas of the occupation point down the bottom left and the easy gnawing and elevation you can see the estimated scale factor you can save it out as a report if necessary and you can also specify which point is to be used for the backside calculation in this example we've done a minimum of two points but ideally three or more will strengthen the resection and you can do this by simply hitting add to perform another observation once you are happy you can hit accept this next screen is appeared because of the 3dmc setup and we can just accept this and set the backside once you have accepted the resection results or set the back site for 3DMC, you will now see the message a localization has been created. So a localization will be created from the resection even if a minimum of two points have been used. And to check this from the main screen of magnet field, we can go back into configure coordinate system and we can see that localization is now greyed out we will still be using ground coordinates but this localization is for the GPS to work with the hybrid system to improve the accuracy for when the total is trying to re-establish a lock on the prism to view the details of the localization we can go into setup localization these errors will be large as the GPS doesn't have a correction applied to it and we can go down into the details button and see the details of the localization. Note the localization parameters won't change after more observations. The localization is only calculated during the resection routine unless you manually add another point to the localization. We can back out to the main screen of magnet field and we will go into edit raw data and we'll go up into the magnet symbol and we'll go show GPS. This is just to show the user that we have a total station reading for each resection point used and also a GPS reading for each point observed in the resection. And we can notice for the range pole height that the hybrid antenna offset is being applied also. Once back on the main screen of magnet field, we can go into stake and then points and we'll pick a check shot point from the list of the map and ensure your prism pole height has been entered and then we'll hit stake and you'll notice that we now have the hybrid button enabled and we can simply press this and the total station will search horizontally and then vertically to find the prism's location from the internal FC5000 GPS. This might take a bit longer due to the less accurate position of the GPS, so it's recommended that your search window for the total station is left at the default of 15 degrees vertically and horizontally for the total station to find the prism again. Once the total station has found the prism, Again, it will automatically lock onto the prism and begin measuring. Once you're happy that your check shot is within tolerance, you can now begin your stake out or topo. If you want to quickly go into your topo, you don't need to back out to the main screen. You can quickly go into the magnet symbol and then topo. And again, the hybrid positioning button is still enabled and you can utilize this quick topo. And we can back out to the main screen of magnet field. And this concludes the magnet five how-to video of a hybrid resection automatic localization.